The news that has shocked the world and caused quite a brouhaha in the medical community all across the nation and all across the world. Today on Rolanda, this exclusive interview from London, England with Mandy Allwood, the woman who actually shocked most of us when she and her boyfriend, Paul, announced that she is expecting and plans to deliver eight, eight babies. Man, have you had any any cravings, Mandy? I would think that at eight, I mean, you know, I, I gotta ask, I'm sorry. But with eight babies, I can imagine your cravings are going cr wild. Um, the only cravings I have had is um, roast potatoes, jacket potatoes, and um, um, a cooked breakfast, basically. That's about it. But, um, I've been eating very, very well. Obviously, the, the doctors have been telling me that um, if I don't <laughs> eat, then uh, basically they'll be eating me alive. <laughs> no. So um, I have been constantly eating, but I am very, um, I'm very small anyway. I'm very, very petite um, when I'm not carrying eight babies. So, um, um, but I have enjoyed eating. I must admit, mm -hmm. um, I'm not putting on um, any weight at all on my actually on my body, just on my tummy, obviously. Vandy, I said um, you eat anything you want carrying eight babies. Yeah, Absolutely, cool. Paul. You you guys have been in this relationship for a little more than two years now. You are five months pregnant with eight babies. Life changes when babies come along. Relationships have to adjust a bit. Paul, my my question to you is: I understand that even though you are with Mandy, you are still dating other women. Is that, how, what kind of relationship is this that y'all have? Um, I wouldn't even call it an open relationship. What, the, the, the fact is, I have um, two children with someone else. And um, I've, I've known Mandy for five years total. Um, and uh, I, my children come first. My children come before me. Um, Mandy, the mother of my other children, they're, they're number one in my life. And I go regularly to go and see them. Mandy, is that good enough for you? Well, I've known about obviously his children. Um, you know, they were on the scene before I came along. Um, and obviously, with myself having a son, I would never keep my son away from his father. Um, but I've so got to imagine that as a woman who is about to give birth, hopefully, to eight children, that you want your man to help you and be with you, not running around with a bunch of other women. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not stupid. I really am not. Um, I've very much got a mind on my own. A lot of folks in here. What, what is it? Well, I'm hearing something. Some rumbling over here. What are you? What are you saying? We've got a studio audience here that's really reacting to this, Mandy. It's hard for us to to understand. Yes, ma'am. Hi. First of all, congratulations. Secondly, my question is for your Paul. wife, Paul. Mm -hmm. Okay. God forbid anything happens to her during this delivery. Are you prepared? to take care of eight kids plus your other two? Um, I'm prepared to take care of 20, never mind eight or 10. Um, I've been taking care of Mandy's other child as well, um, as well as my own. And the mother of my child has also got one, ch one daughter by um, another, uh, a, a previous relationship. How are y'all? I, I pray for her to go to private school and to get the best education possible. Paul are you going to blend all of this? I mean, Mandy clearly is going to need help, clearly from the father of the children. Are you going to live together? Are you going to have to change your living arrangements? How, what are you planning? Well, we're talking about it. I'm actually more domesticated than Mandy is, which, is, which she'll admit to. Well, she's going to be domesticated now. <laughs> How are you going to set up your living arrangements with eight children? I mean, that's got to be just simple things that we take for granted you're going to have to really adjust well, to we both got our own properties we both got our own houses and um, and it's a case that I come and see Mandy as an as, as often as I can um, but I'm, t I'm, a, I'm a lot too domesticated for her so when when I if she puts something down in the wrong place and I don't like it I just leave mm. <laughs> Mandy <laughs> are you afraid that this man is going to desert you when these children come along do you fear no. that he's going to desert you no, not at all, because, um, as I say, I've, I have been with Paul now three years, November, um, and I've seen him with um, his own children, and um, with my own um, husband, my ex-husband, uh, the way he was, and seen other, my friends as well, 
with um, their partners and their children. Uh, they just don't want to know when they're born. Mm -hmm. And at least I've seen that side of Paul, that I do, he's a good father mm -hmm. uh, and is a good provider. So that was my main, um, you know, wasn't really a concern. Um, How do you provide for eight children at one time? We're going to talk to you about that as well. Also up next, you're going to meet the controversial press agent who sold Mandy's story to London's News of the World tabloid. He's getting a lot of heat these days, and he's a money monger. We'll see right after this.